गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू त्रिवेणी मेमोरियल सीनियर सेकेंडरी स्कूल ऑनलाइन क्लासेस स्टूडेंट्स इन आर लास्ट क्लास वी स्टार्टेड डिस्कसिंग वन ऑफ आर चैप्टर दैट इज एग्रीकल्चर सो टुडे वी विल कंटिन्यू अहेड विद आर टॉपिक मेजर क्रॉप्स मेजर क्रॉप्स मीन्स दोज क्रॉप्स विच आर एडेबल एट मोस्ट इन डिफरेंट पार्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड और विच आर प्रोड्यूस्ड इन डिफरेंट पार्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड सो लेट सी स्टूडेंट्स definitely as i already told you if you need to produce a particular finished products like biscuits or bread you need is raw material in the form of wheat in the form of rice in the form of maize so what are these these are crops so let's discuss about them in detail firstly rice is there so what we can say rice is one of the major food crop of the world that is in most part of the world people used to eat rice or whenever you are visiting any different country you can find rice there it is a staple diet and it is present in tropical and subtropical regions now we will talk about the climatic condition what sort of climatic conditions are required to grow rice so what we can say rice needs high temperature and high humidity and rainfall if in a particular area high rainfall is not there suppose if we talk about rajasthan where very rich rainfall is there and we will try to grow rice there that would not be possible because it is the condition mandatory condition to grow rice we need high temperature high humidity and high rainfall and presence of clay soil because clay soil can store or absorb the water for a long duration of time now where it is found it is found in different part of india and world also like in west bengal in Bang bangladesh etc thereafter our next crop is wheat what sort of climatic conditions are required to grow wheat it require moderate temperature and moderate rainfall moderate means medium neither very high nor too low and it needs bright sunshine also of during all the time of harvest because bright sunshine if it will be not there any rainfall will be there it can ruin our production of wheat and again it required loamy soil thereafter what are the various places where it is found it is found in the world in different places like russia like argentina canada etc then millets now what are millets all your coarse grains that we used to eat come under the category of millets and they need less fertile and sandy soil and it is a hardy crop that needs low rainfall you can if you want to grow millets then you have to grow it in the area where less rainfall is present and high to moderate temperature is required and adequate rainfall then we will discuss about the example of some millets like jowar bajra ragi etc and they are grown in different places like in china niger nigeria etc the next one is your maize again maize require your moderate temperature moderate means medium medium temperature and rainfall and lots of sunshine and what type of soil fertile soil is required where they are found in brazil north america russia etc then is cotton now again see cotton balls are very light in nature that is why it requires high temperature and light rainfall because if excessive or high rainfall will be there cotton balls would not be able to survive they would get destroyed or ruined that is why they required light rainfall and 210 frost free days are required to take care of your cotton balls so that they can grow properly and what sort of soil is suitable for growing cotton your alluvial soil and black soil are perfect for growing cotton where they are found they are found in china usa india and in different part of the world and definitely it is used as raw material i already give you the example of cotton clothes in the starting of the chapter then your next one is jute now one important question can be extracted from here which can be asked to you which particular fiber is known as golden fiber and the answer is jute jute is known as golden fiber 
and now the question is what climatic conditions or what sort of soil it requires it requires alluvium soil and high temperature heavy rainfall and humid climate and where it is found it is found in bangladesh and various tropical areas of india and on in world also thereafter next is coffee for coffee we can say that it requires warm and wet climate and well drained loamy soil and high slopes are more suitable in hilly areas basically you can say they are grown and in different part of the world also coffee is grown like in brazil it is the there in fact brazil is the leading producer in growing coffee after by followed by colombia and india means the maximum amount of quality or maximum quantity of coffee is grown in india then in colombia and then in brazil and thereafter we will talk about tea tea again tea and coffee are your beverage crops this question can also be asked to you name two beverage crops so your tea and coffee are beverage crops beverage crops means drinking that you can drink tea and coffee so tea is a beverage crop again involved in plantation only that we have already discussed earlier it required cool climate and well distributed high rainfall throughout the year throughout the year high rainfall is required for the growth of its tender leaves otherwise leaves won't be required you can see here these women are involved in uh, extracting the tea leaves so manual work is required so you need more quantity of labor more number of labor with you where it is grown in kenya in india in china etc thereafter next is agricultural development yes you all of you know this thing that as compared to the last time now our days people are more aware about agricultural activities earlier they used simple tools now they are using advanced tools modern tools like threshers like tractors they are using better qualities of fertilizers pesticides weedicides good quality of seeds the farmer is getting more knowledge as compared to the last time in fact the government has also taken initiative for agriculture development if you have gone through the advertisement in tv you have seen also there that a particular kisan or farmer is calling ki in my area what particular crop is suitable to grow so government is also taking initiative where farmers can grow up and they can ask that according to the availability of land they can grow which sort of uh, you can say uh, crop for themselves so that is the agriculture development which is taking place in india and in different part of the country as compared to india in other countries they are more developed in terms of agriculture which are already developed countries that is why they are developed countries for example if we talk about usa canada australia they use most you can say intelligent and modern techniques in their agriculture they use more technology as compared to labor they believe in capital intensive techniques in growing crops capital intensive techniques means use of more money as compared to labor whereas if we talk about india in india we use labor intensive technique more as compared to capital because we have enough human resources but less of money with us thereafter students our next topic is farm in india so one story is there that there is one small village uh adilabad which is in gajiapur district of uttar uttar pradesh where munna nal is one of the very small farmer who used to reside in that place and have a small land of about 1.5 hectare his house is in the main village now see if you if he want to go to the field he have to travel through a very long distance he purchase high yielding variety of seeds means high yielding variety seeds means high yielding variety of seeds are those seeds which give maximum quantity of production of goods once you are using those seeds they will give maximum yield of production to you so what he did he purchased high yield variety of seeds from the market and just sown them for the alternative there his land was very fertile he grows at least two crop in a year which are normally wheat and rice and pulses in a year he usually grow two crops only 
usually rice or wheat sometime he changes or switches to pulses also the farmer takes advice of his friend and elders as well as the government agriculture officer regarding farming practices that i already told you he takes a tractor on rent for plugging his field through some of his friends still use the tradition method he started using modern technique he started using tractor in his field though he have to take the loan for that but he started using modern technique whereas some of his friends were still involved in using traditional method in production of crops that is they were using still bullocks bullock carts for you know production of crops for irrigation but he started using modern crops there after what happened munnalal was also having two buffaloes with him and few hens and he the milk that he used to rear from these buffaloes he used to sell that milk in the cooperative stores which are located in nearby his area what are cooperative stores we, which use milk in large quantity for example you can take the example of amul agencies amul cooperative stores can be there from where they are getting this milk such type of farmers used to sell milk to them so he used to sell that milk to these uh, nearby located cooperative store in his town and he is also the member of one of the cooperative society which keeps on advising him what sort of seeds what sort of animals you need to rear so that you can get maximum amount of profit from that and all his family members also help him Uh, in rearing or in the production of these crops and he take all the favorable conditions and uh, took all the steps so that he can maximum yield maximum production from his crops but in respect of taking care of all these things once he used to extract the crops he faces various problem for example like in the starting with Uh, uh, take example of tertiary activities he faces the problem of arrangement of transportation why so that he can sell or he can send those those produce crops to the market second he faces the problem of storage facilities in india maximum number of farmers faces this problem they are well done with their production of crops but after rearing that crops out they have no enough spaces with them so that they can store those crops at particular place and that is the only reason once after fetching those crops once after the production is done at the same moment they need to sell those crops in the mandi or in the market because they face a storage facility problem the next is a farm in usa now students see what i told you that in india if munna lal needs to go to his fields he has to travel a long distance that is the case of india if we talk about us even another example is given here where what is ex- explain here the availability of land is big on the same land a particular person is residing there only and the field is also there so he took no time wherever he want to look after his crops he just go there and look after his crops without any interpretation that is he did not need to travel a long distance then is proper availability of water is there proper storage facilities there which the which munnalal is facing in india and automatic machines are there which are going to do the production less labor is required i already told you these advanced countries usa they believe in capital intensive agriculture technique use of more technology use of more money all the things are available with them proper quality of water proper availability of water proper quality of soil automatic production of crops and automatic threshing of crops and then auto uploading of crops also now see one more system is explained here what this person did he just put one of the satellite connection and get it connected to his computer now he need not rush to the field again and again from his home only he is watching the computer and from the satellite connection he is coming to know what sort of activities are taking place in his 
field so what is that all these are modern active activities and use of less labor is required whereas in case of india what we have observed that that particular farmer has to put more efforts in sowing of that crop so definitely india is a capital intensive country technique country which use more technology where automatically all the things got done so students that's it about and uh, of course storage problem is also not there and uh, so what we can say that that's it about our topic so i hope students that you understand the topic very well now we will discuss about the question answers of the topic students so let's begin students our first question is what is agriculture we have already discussed in detail it is a sort of art and science as well of rearing crops the next is what are the factors influencing agriculture that i already told you topography of soil availability of water availability of land availability of rainfall climate factor etc then what is shifting cultivation what are its disadvantages i already told you in detail in the chapter what is shifting cultivation what is plantation agriculture we discuss regarding tea coffee all these involved in plantation agriculture where used to uh, plant and use of more labor is required as compared to more capital so moving ahead students then our next question is that our question number 2 and what is our question number 2 our question number 2 is correct tick the correct answer in, in which our first one is horticulture means what does it signifies it signifies growing of fruits and vegetables it signifies primitive farming it signifies growing of wheat or it is a golden fiber we have already discussed this topic in detail now what is golden fiber your second question this also we have discussed which one is called as golden fiber your jute is called as uh, golden fiber then what is the lead or which particular country is the lead leading producer of coffee in the world we have discussed that also that uh, after india uh, brazil is the leading producer of coffee thereafter next question is give reasons in which our first one is in india agriculture is a primary activity why because most of the people are engaged in sowing of seeds and in extracting crops from there involved in agriculture most of the people in india are involved in agriculture activities that is why india is a, a country where primary activity is given priority the next is different crops are grown in different regions this also i told you because different crops required different type of soils different type of climate different type of rainfall and different you can say features for their survival that is why they are grown in different areas the next is distinguish between the following first one is your primary activity and secondary activities and second one is your subsistence farming and intensive farming if we talk about primary activities i already told you it involves the production and extraction of natural resources for example your fishing agriculture etc if we talk about secondary activities it involves the production of these natural resources into finished good products that is it involves in the process of manufacturing all the industries come under this category then is your subsistence farming and intensive farming that sort of farming which is done by the household labor household labor means by the family members only and for feeding family members only is subsistence farming and where the availability of land is small in case of intensive farming you hire extra laborers also and the amount of plot is bigger than this one and here we use modern laborers or modern techniques in agriculture so students that's it about our topic and uh, i hope that uh, you understand the topic very well and the chapter is clear to you so thank you so much students